This is episode 45 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to the Just Ask Joey podcast. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. And as you can see, for those of you that are on YouTube, I'm all decked out in my 49ers gear because my backup quarterback is making news and I feel like it's kind of my duty to talk about it. (laughs) I said duty. So, this is happening in my backyard. I'm in the Bay Area. This is my team, obviously. I'm all ninered out. And he has made some serious media waves this last week by not standing for the national anthem. And he's done it twice. First week, nobody cared, which I still don't know why they care now. But second week, somebody took a picture of it put it on the news, and kaboom, everybody's talking about it. And one funny thing is tomorrow night, they're playing in San Diego, and San Diego has a huge military presence. Like, that's a town that loves them some military. They have a huge naval base there. All the sports teams always have military days and stuff, and you'll see military people like all downtown hanging out, and like it's it's ingrained in the culture of San Diego is is loving your military. Top Gun for those of you Top Gun fans, that's filmed uh, in San Diego at Miramar. I don't know something down there. It's gonna be really freaking interesting to see what happens tomorrow. But let's get to like the the let's get to some like th- main issues of this. The first one being, what the hell is sitting going to do to help racial tensions and racial issues in America? Exactly. Uh, I don't think anything has ever been gotten done, ever, ever been gotten done. Did I really say that? I don't think anything has ever gotten done by sitting. Think about it. What the hell can you even do by sitting? Nothing. What the hell is sitting going to do? Bring attention? He says he wants to bring attention to it. Seriously? Uh, Ferguson, Baltimore, riots, police shootings, Chicago, Dallas. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for sitting down, you backup quarterback, because if you didn't, we may have never known that there were racial issues in America. (laughs) Colin, man, thank you for, for, for bringing this to our awareness. If you didn't know that there's racial issues in this country, you are a effing retard, okay? Whether you want to admit it or not or whatever your stance is, whatever part of the country is, maybe it's like all white where you live or maybe it's all black where you live, whatever your idea is of if you don't know that there's racial tension in this country, you are a dipshit, straight up. And if you didn't know that there are racial tensions and you're not a dipshit, you are so oblivious to anything going on around you. Uh, you're just not paying attention. Maybe you don't watch the news. Maybe you live in the middle of nowhere. That's the only explanation I can I can come up with for why you wouldn't know that there's racial tensions. So Colin Kaepernick, backup quarterback, former superstar of the NFL, if he's bringing your attention to this, that's ridiculous. So so bringing attention, not, not the thing. Um, for those of you that are offended by what he does, Really think about what the hell Colin Kaepernick has to do with your patriotism. When he stood up, were you even more proud to be an American? Were you more proud of your son or daughter that was in the military? Are you more proud of your service? Are you more proud of of the police officers, of the badge that you wear, or the badge that your loved ones wear? Do you have more pride in them when Colin Kaepernick stands up? Hell no. So why would you give a rat's ass whether he stands up or sits down? That doesn't change your relationship with your patriotism at all. You're a cop? Congratulations. Thank you. You're in the military? 
Awesome. Thank you. Your kid's in the military? That's fantastic. That's great. You getting angry because some dumb football player doesn't stand up and do what? Does everybody have to respect everything? Oh my God, I'm blown up. Does everybody have to uh, appreciate everything you appreciate? Do you get mad when somebody doesn't like like your team? Why don't you be mad at, at all the 49ers fans for not being Packers fans? Or all the Cowboys fans for not being Giants fans? Why don't people think like me? You really get angry at that? Let him sit down. Who cares? Watch the game. Who gives a shit if Colin Kaepernick stands up or sits down? If you're getting mad over Cap standing up or sitting down, you have issues. You need to focus on what you have going on around you and not focus on some backup quarterback, probably not in the area where you're from, maybe probably on the other side of the country, not standing up. Is that really something to get mad at? I'm just, just write that on paper. Uh, on Tuesday, I was pissed because this guy didn't stand up. Does that sound stupid to you? It sounds stupid to me. Who gives a shit if he stands up or sits down? And it's not even like he's, it's not like he's like Tom Brady. It's not like he's Cam Newton. He's a backup quarterback. What if your punter doesn't stand up? Being a backup quarterback is essentially, and no offense, punters or kickers or what is essentially a punter or kicker. What if the guy on the practice team didn't stand up? Who cares? It's not like, it's like Colin Kaepernick's not even a high profile figure other than people talk about him because they think he's going to get cut. Because compared to what he was like three years ago, he sucks and hasn't adjusted. That's what I'm disgusted at. That's what pisses me off, that you haven't adjusted your damn game in the last three years. Your pocket presence sucks. Your decision-making sucks. Your accuracy sucks. Work on that before you, work, before you become freaking Malcolm X and, and trying, to, trying to change society by standing up and sitting down. That's what you really should work on. Lastly, Rodney Harrison. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. He said the worst thing to cap that I think you can say to somebody who is mixed race. He said you're not black or you're not black enough. That's horrible. You know why that's horrible? Because you are making race an issue in a country where race is already an issue. It shouldn't matter Kaepernick was freaking Jim Gaffigan, like the whitest guy I've ever seen. It shouldn't matter. Technically, Rodney, he's fighting, he's protesting for, for your team. The, he's fighting for the brothers. So why you would come out and say anything about him fighting for your team when you know there's there's racial issues? You even made it in your whole, it, you even, in your statement about saying how not black he was, you made it in your statement. He doesn't know what it's like to be a black man and walk around in black skin in, in this country. Why? Because it, there are race issues in this country. And what did you do? You made a freaking race issue within a race issue. You made, you showed the racial tension within your own race. Guys like Rodney talking about who's black and who's not, and who's black enough and who's not. Da, 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 da. Cap grew up in like freaking Wisconsin. Okay. In Wisconsin, Cap is a brother, all right? Maybe in Baltimore, he would have been the light-skinned brother, but in Wisconsin, he is the brother, all right? I guarantee you that Colin Kaepernick has been called the N-word. Why? Because in America, if you have one drop of African-American blood, whatever you want to call it, in your system, you are considered black. Cap's got a black dad and a white mom. He's black. If Cap had a white grandma, he'd be black. If Cap had a not white, not white, black. If Cap had a black grandma, he'd be black. If Cap had a black great grandma, he'd be black. Why? Because we as a society make race a freaking issue. He's not a white guy because he's a little darker than other people. He's not a black guy because he's too light. So what does that do? It forces people to almost like they have to choose. Instead of just being Colin Kaepernick, this dude, he has to now, it's almost like he's, he's for, the, for the insecure guys, he's making a choice. I'm going to choose to be a white guy or choose to be a black guy. Instead of just be you, who cares? What happens is if you start trying to be something else, 
if you start trying to be more of this race or that race, so people know that you are quote unquote black enough or whatever, you're going to cause major issues. Why? Because when you're not just being yourself, you start taking on uh, stereotypes. Like what did the hell, what the hell does it mean to be black? Oh man, you're not black. Well, I'm going to prove to you how black I am by being black. Well, what does that mean? Where are you going to look to 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 study up on being black? Like you just are who you are. Like what would you do to study up on being white? What you would look at is you look at stereotypical stuff. And generally, stereotypical stuff is usually not the most flattering thing for somebody to be. And it's not the most accurate thing for somebody to be. But media portrays race a certain way. So if you're looking to media for how you should act a certain way, you're going to be in for a lot of problems. And you're going to be an idiot. And you're going to actually be exacerbating racial um, stereotypes and stuff because you are acting like this or acting like that. Have you ever noticed, and take this for however you're going to take it, but have you ever noticed that it is the guys that you can tell kind of who feels lost in race or in culture or whatever because they're the ones that like push it the most. They talk about it the most. You know what? I'm not even going to get into it. I'm just going to get myself in trouble. But Rodney Harrison is forcing Cap to choose a side. And it's not fair because he's just Cap. He's Colin Kaepernick, who's a black guy and a white guy in one. That's it. And it's not like it's not like there's a whole bunch of oh shit. I swear to God. I'm just going to I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. This whole shit is just going to get me in trouble. But guys like Rodney make the make the problem even worse because you have guys like Cap that are trying to do good stuff, trying to bring out um, awareness, even though he's doing it in a stupid way. They make it difficult on them because you're forcing him to choose. Like Rodney Harrison is basically saying, you're not black. It, man- it can't manifest itself in a healthy way when society forces you to choose an identity when you already have an identity. And I feel bad. I don't feel bad for Cap. Fuck Cap. But I feel bad for people that don't have a solid footing enough on who they are and their identity to just be comfortable with who they are instead of trying to prove themselves. Trying to be black or trying to not be white or trying to be white or trying to be Chinese or Japanese or whatever, whatever it is. Like as soon as you start trying to be something and trying to prove whatever it is you're trying to prove, you pull yourself out of you and you become you become a a a person impersonating a person. And I don't think that's healthy. Like I know like when I was younger, man, I'm like, dude, I'm so punk rock. Well what is punk rock? What does that mean? It means you wear baggy pants. It means you have a mohawk. It means you have, you know, I, I don't even know what it like what is it? So you start doing all these stupid things and you end up wanting to be talking about how individual you are and how this and that you are and how punk rock you are and how against the system you are. And then you end up like basically putting on a uniform and going out. Oh, dude, I'm so freaking punk rock. I got a leather jacket with uh, studs in it and I have a mohawk. I look so different. But you look exactly the same as all the freaking punk rockers. You just be who you are. And don't listen to guys like Rodney Harrison because Rodney people like Rodney Harrison are going to mess your crap up because you're going to go, oh, yeah, well, I'll show you. how. Black. I mean, it's, come on, really? Cap's a brother because America has labeled Cap a brother because you're either white or black in this country. Even if it's just a little bit black in your in your system, you're black. Dates back to the 1800s. Why? Do we still have that now? Because there's racial issues in this country. And if it wasn't for Cap, we may have never known. Thank you, Colin Kaepernick. We're going to put your statue right next to uh, Martin Luther King's. Fantastic. So, if this felt like it bounced around a little bit, it did. I'm probably going to have to go back and edit about a whole bunch of stuff because I could feel myself going off track. But um, if you guys want to talk about cap, racial issues, man, I'm all for it. And uh, anything else, if you want to come on here, I would love a sports debate. If there's anybody out there that wants to come on and do a podcast with me and a vlog, sports debate, all you have to have is Skype, hit me up, 
and we can go back and forth. I think that would be freaking awesome. If you have other things you want to deal with, anything going on in, in your life, big stuff, little stuff, fun stuff. Um, if you need advice on stuff, if you need just a different perspective, not necessarily advice, please hit me up, Snapchat, Twitter. You can leave comments in the section here, even though that makes it a little more public. Snapchat seems to be working really, really well. Um, seems to be the most consistent thing. So if you have questions, if you want to be on the podcast with me, if you want to do a, uh, a dual podcast like I did with, uh, with Eric and Addiction, if you have a story that you feel could help somebody, please hit me up. Um, subscribe, tell your friends, share. This is all about collectively getting better, using issues that we've had in the past to help ourselves, help other people get over issues they're having now. All right. Hope you guys have, uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go, go.